Hello everyone, Sean here once again. It is December 9th, 2022, and we're back on our daily Nerdle. As always, please take a moment to like and subscribe, it really does help me a lot. But for now, let's get into today's puzzle. Alright, we have multiplication, we do not have a two-digit number. Because we have a one, uh, a three-digit number is a little bit more likely than normal. So let's check that out. Um, otherwise, we will have a single-digit number. So, lowest this can be would be 111. We cannot have a 2 or a 3 in there either. So, let's look at what happens if we do a 4 here. Um, and it'd have to be something in the 50s. Yep, it can't. This is not going to be something we're able to throw together. Because then we could. The biggest we could do would be the 90s. Which means that this would be. This couldn't be a 1, because we couldn't have anything lower than a 4. But we can have a 4, because the 4 doesn't go there. We've already learned that, so this must be at least a 5. We don't have a 2, so this must be at least a 3. We don't have a 3. So the minimum this can be over here, if it's a 3-digit number, is 400. So let's explore that. It's actually not entirely ruled out that we'd have a, a three-digit number over here. Um, actually, I should say the lowest number this could be would be 441, because this cannot be a 1, 2, 3, or uh, 0. So 441 would be the lowest number this could be. So I don't think this three-digit number is very likely, but we can keep exploring this because we can gain some more answers. Now, if we put a 6 here, we can actually satisfy all of this by doing an 8 and test our 5, 6, and 8. Test where our 4 goes. I like this guess. Let's go with that one. All right. As suspected, we do not have a 3-digit number, but we do have an 8 in the end. That's great. All right. So what does that mean? We have 0. Let's... Let's, uh... Let's do... Sub Traction first. That multiplication is going to go there. We have 8 as the answer. So this could be divided or subtracted here. What else do we know? What can we lock in? We have a 1, a 6, and a 4 to place somewhere. I'm going to guess that this is going to be where the 1 goes. Let's throw a 4 here. We have a 6. What if we do this? What if we do a 6 times 1? Order of operations, this will take first, happen first, and then 14 minus 6 equals 8. That's the answer. Fantastic. The answer is actually 14 minus 6 times 1, not 1 times 6, but it works just the same for us. That just uh, fell into place because I noticed that you know 16 and or 14 and 6 were related to that 8, so might as well throw them in there. That gives us double coverage on the 1, but look, it's the answer nonetheless. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe. It really does help me a lot. And share this video with anyone you think would enjoy some daily math puzzles. That's all for now, and we will see you all tomorrow.